Kate Hall and this is Women's Health Ask an Athlete. I run the 1500 metres for the Australian Athletics team. I really love being an athlete because it's a great platform to really test yourself and it's amazing to be able to represent your country, um, especially at the Olympic Games this year. Um, being a female athlete is even more special because you can really show girls at home what they can do and athletics is amazing because the girls and boys are out there together in the same field of play. So it really just says to you know young girls at home watching, you know, girls can do everything the boys can do. Uh, well, when I first fell in love with the Olympics back in Sydney 2000, uh, when I was in grade three, I loved Liesl Jones in the swimming. Um, I thought she was amazing. And then as I became more of a runner, I really looked up to Sarah Jamison, who also ran the 1500 metres and also ran for the same athletics club as me. Um, and she's been able to become a really important mentor and been a huge part of my career. So that's been really special. I think largely, yes. Um, I definitely hear the crowd when I'm running. Uh, specifically when I ran my personal best and Australian record about a month ago. Everyone was so loud on the back straight and it was just a tunnel of noise and I had to get moving on that last lap to break the record and um, yeah, they definitely got me there. So that was, that was really powerful. Um, I think sometimes uh, you don't necessarily hear exact people or you know, things like that, but I think just the general atmosphere it creates is incredible. If I'm, yeah, if I'm not running, I'm often at the dog park with my dog, Crumb. Um, he's really good to just switch off and relax and him being happy always makes me happy and he loves the park. <laughs> well, if I wasn't an athlete, I guess I studied nutrition and dietetics at uni, so I guess I probably would have uh, gone a bit deeper into that, um, which I guess is sort of on hold for the minute. Um, I'd probably have less of an interest in sports nutrition if I hadn't been an athlete myself. So maybe I'd be more interested in working in a hospital or something in a dietetics role. You know, I think the, the biggest component for diet for me is just eating enough food to support my training. Um, it's really high volume, high intensity, and you know, we're doing things like altitude and heat training that all have really high energy demands. So keeping on top of just getting enough fuel in to support you know, the training as well as recovery is, is the most important thing. No, I'm pretty inclusive of all foods year round, really. Um, I think everything has a time and place and every food serves a purpose. And that bit of chocolate, that purpose might be happiness on a Wednesday night after training. Um, but obviously on race day, I'm a little more particular about what I'm eating. Um, you know, I always have a banana two hours before my race. Um, I usually have rice for lunch or something, uh, some pretty plain carbohydrate rich foods on race day. Things I'm probably not gonna see again is usually the best bet. <laughs> so we've just had our selection trials a few weeks ago. So locked in our selection. Um, so we've moved sort of back into a bit of a preparation type phase of training at the minute. So not quite as much fun stuff on the track, but we'll work towards that in the next few weeks, get back on the track, back into faster stuff and we'll have some warm up races on the Gold Coast and then up in far North Queensland uh, through June and, June and July. Yeah, last year with um, COVID was uh, definitely needed to adapt to our training a fair bit, uh, especially being in Melbourne. Uh, so I had to get pretty creative with a bit of home gym and a lot of running really close to home. Um, I think I definitely exhausted all of the running paths near my house. Um, and obviously we, we had no competitions um, and stayed in Australia for the first winter in a really long time, which was cold. Um, probably don't want to do it again. Um, so I think it, it really sucked at the time, but I think it's been really beneficial this year. I've had a great season off the back of it and it gave me a chance to just really knuckle down and you know get strong and get good consistent training in. Um, and you really just appreciate racing this year, being able to get out there because last year you, you really realised that you missed it when you didn't get the chance to. I have become less superstitious as I've uh, become more of a senior athlete. I think I used to be very obsessive. Um, I do always race with a hair ribbon in my hair. Um, it always has to match my race uniform. So whenever I get my race uniform, I head over to Spotlight and uh, color match. So, so it matches my Nike race kit exactly. Um, and then obviously a green and gold ribbon for the Olympics. So um, yeah, that's kind of my thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the Women's Health YouTube channel. This is our